Hey guys, what's going on? Well, the last couple of singing videos I've done, they were such a hit on YouTube and on Facebook until I've had somebody contact me and ask me if I could do a sync for them. What would I charge them? And well, yesterday they brought the sync to me. It's what I'm going to be pouring tonight. The colors, I have no idea yet what I'm going to use and I'm getting ready to pour the sink. They told me I had an open, open canvas I could, you know, pretty much do what I want to do with it because they know it's going to look good. That's what they said. Well, I appreciate you guys' comments on the last few videos that I've put out. You know, I like that engagement with you guys. If there's something you guys want to see me pour or uh, try to build or anything like that, leave them down in the comments below. We'll surely consider it. Because I'm trying to grow this channel, I'm trying to make it into something, and I can't do it without you guys. It's all you. Without you, this channel's nothing. And I started this channel because you try to get help doing something like this from some professional. And, you know, they think it's such a big secret. They don't want to give no help out. They want to do it themselves. They want to charge you money, and they want to come do it themselves. When it's just as easy for you to get the material and do it yourself and save all that money. That's a lot of money that you can save. And that's why I started doing this. You know, I was in a position where I could make these videos and I could help people because of the type of work I do. I'm not going to charge nobody for this information. I let well, you see, that video has got me this job. It doesn't pay to hide or keep a secret. It doesn't, it just don't do it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Right, for those of you, of you that don't know, it's a one-to-one -one mix ratio. You want to mix it with your paddle for about two minutes. If you're mixing by hand, mix it for about seven to ten minutes. When you go to mixing it with this paddle, hang on to this tub. If you don't, the epoxy's thick. It's going to grab a hold of this container when you... Squeeze this trigger on this drill and it's going to sling epoxy everywhere. It's happened to me. Anyway, you want to mix it for about two minutes and I'm not going to bore you guys with a mixing. So we'll just do it real quick. Sit that out of the way. Let me get my gloves on real quick. All right. You guys ready to do this? I'm ready to do it. First, I'm going to put me a little bit of clear epoxy in this little cut right here save that now on these things there's no other way to do it than just pour it out and there's really no sense in using a trial on a sink the simple fact is there's really not that many areas or surface area that is flat and a lot of it's going to go down the drain you can count on it, so expect to lose a good bit of it down the drain because it's going to happen. And I use a brush when I'm doing a sink just for that reason. I mean, it just spreads the epoxy out better than a trial does on these sinks anyway. Make sure you get all the surface area covered. I, I know you're going to beat yourself up trying to keep this epoxy from going down the drain, but you're not going to be able to stop it. Make sure to brush your sides good. Get it good and coated with epoxy. And if the work surface around your sink is clean, you have a reservoir of epoxy that drips off and runs off. But you got to make sure your area around your sink is clean. See what I mean about all the epoxy going down the drain? All right, let me stop playing with this. All right, let's see colors. We're going to use, start off with white. I'm not going to put a whole lot on here.
Trust me, it looks. There's really not that much white here. I know it looks like there is, but there's not. That white goes a long way. Now I'm gonna take some uh, turquoise sky. And I'll spray this on my stick. Now, we'll put a little bit of lagoon in here. Not a lot. Just a little. A little bit of ocean mist. Change my mind. I might put a little more of this turquoise sky in there. Where I go, what I do with it. I'm sorry, not turquoise sky, lagoon. Now you just want to, you don't want to over mix it. It's real easy to over mix it. 
I'm going to take a heat gun and move some of this around with a heat gun. If you ain't got a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. That'll work. Remember what I said about that epoxy spilling over the side? Got a perfect reservoir down there with color. And up underneath. Trying to get some of this epoxy to get this color to run down this bowl. You want to get your epoxy to pull the color over the edge for you. Now you put a little color in that epoxy and it'll run right over that edge. And for those of you that don't know, I pour my sinks in two pours. I do the main body of the sink and that cures. I flip it up and level it on its backsplash and I'll pour the backsplash. For those of you that do know, well, I don't need to tell you. Anyway, let me get the heat gun. I forgot to put my black in it. Not going to be a lot of black neither. Now, put the heat to it.
just that quick. Let me get the camera down off the tripod and we'll get a closer look. I'm sorry about the glare from the lights. They did say they didn't want nothing dark, so this ain't dark. Nothing dark about it. It'll continue to move too now, so don't judge your work yet. If I can get this thing to focus. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. Sides got good color. Now when this sets up, I'll take and I'll stand the sink up on its backsplash and I'll pour my backsplash. And there's going to be some of you guys that think that's not going to work. Well, just go look at my other sink videos and you'll see that it does work. Works pretty good too. My little workshop's almost complete. I'll be able to get away from these glaring lights. That'll be a big plus. Not too bad. Anyway, if you guys have any questions on anything that I can help you with, please feel free. Drop me a comment below. I'm always checking the comments. I, you know, I love communicating with you guys. You're the reason I started this channel, and that's what keeps me going is you guys. Any question you have that needs to be answered, I'll do my best to do it. Uh, and, uh... The last sync videos, they've gotten good comments. Some of them got, well, not the sync videos. All the sync videos got good comments. Now, the table that I just done, that got mixed comments. But everybody thought I was trying to make it look like marble. That wasn't the case. It was not supposed to look like marble. The gentleman that bought the table and I built it for, he showed me a picture of something from his childhood that he grew up down in the Keys. And it reminded him of, and... That's what he wanted. He paid for it. He got it. Customer's always right. But uh, if you guys get any value out of any of my videos, please drop me a thumbs up. Help me get a little higher in the queue and uh, drop me a comment. I'm looking forward to it. And if you haven't got yourself subscribed yet, get yourself subscribed. That way you won't miss a video when it does come out. And as always, thanks for looking and God bless.